Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. So today is the 8th of December. So got a lot of packages coming today. Uh, bits for the shop, like packaging, I know is definitely coming today. Um, some Christmas presents and I've had an exciting little delivery from Milk and More. So I've set up uh, to have milk delivered and other bits and bobs now every single week and that arrived this morning. Toby went on to work at half past five and it was on our doorstep. Like half expecting it to be like delivered at around, I don't know, half past six or something like that because they, um, like the sort of idea is that you have all your essentials on your doorstep by seven o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> I was just very surprised it was there at uh, half past five. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> I've just come downstairs. I'm still wearing my pajama top. Um, because I thought I heard the postman knock the door, turns out he just popped it through the letterbox, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just start today's vlog whilst I'm here. And then once I finish getting ready, I will show you the bits that I got from Milk and More. Okay, who's ready for a little Milk and More haul? So all the like, grocery bits come in these little paper, like, bags which I love, it just makes you think of like typical American shows when they come home with groceries and it's always in a paper bag. Yeah, England doesn't really do that. Okay, I've got my phone as well so then I can actually tell you the price of things as I go. This isn't sponsored or anything, I just wanted to do like a little first impression because I love watching those sorts of things myself so, and also it helps you quite a bit if you're like unsure whether you should go for it and try it or not. So. Yeah, so obviously they do more than just milk, they're more than your regular milkman. They have a Christmas tab at the moment. Um, I think they were doing uh, joints of meat and like turkeys and stuff, but obviously everyone has probably hopped on that train and got everything <laughs> um, all booked up. Um, they do hampers, which is really nice. But as for their groceries, so they do bakery, they have a whole organic section, uh, fruit and veg tab, pantry, so that is anything from your biscuits, they do flour, um, I think they do sugar as well, actually. Um, they also do cleaning products, which I haven't tried yet because I have quite a few different ones that I'm already working through, so I don't really need to buy more. Um, and then they have fresh, which is your um, meat, eggs, dairy, cheeses, yogurts, butters and spreads, if I haven't said that already. Um, and they do uh, fresh pasta and meat alternatives. So just to test it out, I just got the uh, basics that we always pick up in the supermarket. So usually we shop with Aldi. Um, it's literally just kind of over the road for us, especially buying milk you end up with a lot of plastic waste so <laughs> i'm thinking having the glass bottles because a lot of their stuff does come in glass bottles that you just put back out and then they not refill them there and then but like <laughs> swap them with like new ones and then those bottles then get used again the first thing obviously is milk we get semi-skimmed and i really like on the top it says merry christmas i'm not sure if you'll be able to see so yeah, on the top there it says Merry Christmas, which I really, really love. I think that's really sweet. The one that I've got is the semi-skimmed um, in glass uh, one pint for 81 pence. And I've got that set up so it comes on a Tuesday and a Saturday. That'll probably work out fine for us because Elliot's not drinking milk as much anymore now. So we're not burning through it like now and tomorrow. And then this, which really intrigued me, is from a company called Tom Parker Creamery. It's a free range milk, fresh from the farm, and it's a milkshake, which is banana fudge. Um, and this one was two pound for 500 ml. We drink quite a lot of juice in this house. So this is the M&M uh, &M apple juice in glass, one pint again. Um, it doesn't say Merry Christmas or anything on the top this time. And then as a freebie, because I was a new customer, they popped in this one, which is the Village Press freshly squeezed orange juice which is squeezed from six oranges. Um, so yeah, so that one just looks like that. Um, I don't know how much this one is because it doesn't actually show up in my little order thing. It just says that it's free. Um, so yeah, so that was that. Let's put these fridge bits back in the fridge. <laughs> and then because the milk bottles don't obviously have a lid, they've just got like a foil uh, thing on top. I picked up these, which are called Moo Pops and they're three reusable milk bottle tops. So you just look like that. And I've seen um, 
Rihanna and Ashley use these. It's got like quite nice pastel sort of colours. So you've got a green, it's gonna focus. You've got a green colour, a blue, and a little baby pink. And then these ones just clip down over the top of the lid just to keep it fresh and sealed. And those ones were three pound for the pack of three. I then picked up some eggs. So these are by Humble Eggs, truly free range, six medium eggs. And they're just like that. I mean, it's just, it's just a punnet of eggs. Punnet? Packet? I don't really know. A carton. <laughs> carton of eggs. So yeah, and they're pretty good sizes. No eggs arrived broken, which is my main pet peeve with shopping in the supermarket because a lot of the time people will just break an egg where they're trying to look at them or like swap them around and then just leave it in the packet instead of telling someone really really bugs me as a customer and when i used to work in a food retail store <laughs> yeah so those eggs were one pound 89 for this pack of six and then i picked up these i've never actually tried these before but they just sound really really nice um so they're the yo valley freezy favorites strawberry raspberry peach apricot and black currant yogurts and they're actually huge i didn't think they were gonna be this big so i've got these on a reorder so these ones will come uh once a week but if i like them then i'll probably put it up to two a week because i absolutely love yogurt okay and then in my little bags i picked up a loaf of bread this is the abbott's bakery classic white bloomer it's actually a good size especially for a family like us because we basically inhale bread for this loaf it's 165 which is i think around the sort of price that we pay for bread in aldi anyway so hopefully this will be nice Oh, I forgot this little thing actually. Um, <laughs> it looks really weird. Um, it's just a bottle brush cleaner, but what I really liked about this is that it has a cotton tip on the bottom. So I bought a pack of these ones, but the thing is, I don't know if you can really see it properly, but the bristles on the end are very sparse and it's just metal. So if I'm trying to clean anything that's kind of fragile, I'm worried it's just gonna scratch the bottom. Whereas this, it has like that little cushiony protective <laughs> layer and you can really clean the bottoms of the bottles so i'm really excited to use this can't believe i'm actually excited to clean bottles and stuff with this this is what being an adult is honestly it's friggin weird <laughs> just waving it around like a wand um this one was 3.99 which is a little bit expensive i think but i think it's worth it just for this little little cotton top um it's all natural bristle bristles <laughs> It's all natural bristles, by the way. And then I picked up some potatoes. I'm actually quite glad that these aren't just completely filthy. This is a 1.5 kilo net, I think. Where is it? Yeah, uh, 1.5 kilo organic potatoes. Um, and these were £2.20, which I actually think is really good. Um, I was worried that it was going to be, like, it was just going to be all quite small potatoes, but... We mainly use them for chips. I don't think these would be big enough for jacket potatoes because they're not overly huge. And then lastly, I picked up a net ooh, of onions, which are actually huge. Oh my God, they're so big. Um, so this is the same, so it's another, oh my God, I've got potato <laughs> flakes all over it. Um, so these are, Again, 1.5 kilos of organic white onions, and this bag was also £2.20. And there's so many in here, like we use onions a lot. Then the last thing that I picked up was actually this Milk and Moor uh, milk caddy. But I'm not sure if you can see, this one is actually quite dirty, so I need to wipe it down. Um, but it's got a metal top, and then this is apparently dishwasher safe, um, but it feels like polystyrene. I don't know if the texture will show up properly or it kind of is um but yeah it feels like polystyrene it's meant to whoop, it's meant to insulate your milk and your cool stuff before you get it in the morning although at the moment with it being so cold in the morning we're just using nature's fridge so that's good um so yeah so this one was nine pound 95 i was tempted to pick up the uh box cooler which is 20 pounds and I'm kind of wishing that I did do that. I just hear Luna having a drink. And on the inside, 
it just looks like that i mean how interesting is a uh milk caddy insulator really <laughs> I think it is next week I've got a seasonal veg box coming from them now <laughs> if you were here for the Morrison's uh, food box saga which happened in the first lockdown um, I was a little bit apprehensive to do this but at the same time it was just a really good price oh it was £16.50 not uh, £15 I don't know where I got £15 from um, so in the week that I'm getting it I will be getting sweet potatoes, carrots, broccoli, flat beans. I don't know what flat beans are. I, I'm thinking they're like a monge two type thing. Um, courgettes, plum tomatoes, oranges, apples and blueberries. So I'm excited to get that um, because I absolutely love sweet potato. I've been wanting to do this for ages and I don't know why I haven't. I think the penny dropped in the second lockdown when everyone started panic buying and obviously people do a lot of food shopping Christmas and ugh, I just didn't want the stress of it and it's nice to know that you'll always have your essentials so obviously I mean we need milk for our coffees and cereal and stuff um Elliot needs his bread for toast and uh, we've just got little extra things and something that we don't really pick up an awful lot is eggs I don't know why <laughs> um so yeah so it's nice to actually have eggs in the house rather than having the hassle i'm just waving this around again um is that having the hassle of just like oh if i feel like i want to do a little bit of baking i have to go out and get it which obviously now that toby is back at work it's not as easy to do um because we haven't been taking elliot into shops for the whole of this year he hasn't gone into a single shop because i'm just worried about him I don't know potentially picking something up from being sat in the trolley it's probably silly and it would be absolutely fine but he's the most precious thing that we have in our lives i just don't want to risk anything bad happening because i think i've said this before like he's never had a cold really he had a slight sniffle on his first christmas but ever since then he has been very healthy and happy so yeah i would rather just not play with fire and just keep our little family safe and just away from other people which is part of the reason why we're not doing christmas as we would so usually what we do on christmas we would spend uh half a christmas day with my parents we'd have christmas dinner there and then we'd go to toby's parents for the remainder of christmas day and then we'd swap it over for boxing day even though the restrictions are being lifted around Christmas uh, we've kind of decided that it's not really worth the risk um, especially when things like video calls exist so we can see each other but it just doesn't mean that we'll be actually in the same room yeah so we'll be spending our first Christmas home we've already got a turkey Toby picked one up it's just a frozen one it's just like a kind of little one but oh my god it is heavy when he brought it home i was like passing him the shopping to like put it in the fridge and freezer and everything and i just you know picked it up thinking oh it's not gonna be heavy because it's actually quite small it's only about that by about that so it's kind of like a large chicken sort of size really but oh my god <laughs> it was like the complete opposite you know like when you pick up a milk bottle expecting there to be like a fair amount of milk in there and it's not and you just like pick it up and pretty much like throw it behind you um <laughs> basically me but the other way around i was the one that was going on the floor with the turkey right my plan is for the rest of the morning i need to clean the kitchen do a little bit of washing up i'll have to go to the post office later today um and because my tissue paper came so excited but yeah i'm gonna do that as my job after i've done the washing up and then I think I'm going to go to uh, Asda and pick up some nice family cards and then send them out to people really early. One of my friends on Facebook is engaged to a postman and she posted like a, a picture of basically what their vans look like every single day. And it was insane. Like they're just filled top to bottom of letters, parcels. And it's just crazy i mean even my parcels are taking quite a while to get to where they need to go very thankful for the postal service because it means that i've been able to keep my shop running and actually have a bit of an income whilst i'm at home with elliot so yes if you work in the postal service 
you are a star. So a little bit of time has passed since I last put up the camera. Um, I've just had a lovely little catch up with one of my friends, her husband and a little girl. They were picking up like this little, um, one of the squishmallows that I managed to get for them um, for their little girl because they did some uh, Christmassy ones so she had the deer that she really wanted. I got a couple for Elliot when I went into Aldi when they were selling them and they still had the deers so I picked one up for her and she's collected it today. Um, but no, it was really lovely to have a chat and a little bit of a catch up. I've packaged up my clay orders now um, and I thought I would actually show you like how I've done it. So this tissue paper is fully recyclable. The box that it's in is fully recyclable obviously and this is the little red uh, little stream sort of things. Um, they're made from craft paper. So this whole thing is completely recyclable. So yeah, so I've just wrapped them all up in this little tissue paper, which looks really sweet. It's just white and gold polka dots. And the nice thing is I was trying to find something that was white and gold, but it was always like the gold part would always be foil. And obviously you can't recycle full foil, um, like tissue paper, wrapping paper, that sort of thing. Um, so yes, I'm really, really glad I got this. I bought it off a seller on eBay, actually. Um, if I remember, I will link it down below. I have a couple more orders to wrap up and post. I think I've got four more orders, but they're all like home worry bits. So I don't have to make anything. I just need to package it up and go. And then I can drop that off to the post office. Okay, I'm now in the car. Oh my God, it's so frigging cold outside yeah so i'm gonna go to the post office hopefully oh, hopefully be able to go to asda afterwards and pick up some christmas cards for my family and toby's family oh my god it's so cold now my uh, car is misted up so i've got to try and sort that out too <laughs> i like how all i've done is pretty much driven to the post office and it's pretty dark already. I really don't like where I have to park here. It's right next to a church and a graveyard. Um, I don't know. Graveyards always make me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> Today has been a bit of a flop and I hope you can hear me because I blimmin' hate that extractor fan. It's so noisy. Um, but yeah, I have literally been editing all day. So I thought I would do a little night routine because my hair is absolutely gross and really really greasy but I left it that way because I was waiting for a package from Boots. I picked up this uh, which is the Eco Warrior Deep Nourishing Shampoo Bar with orange and ginger essential oils so it just looks like that and it's exactly what it says on the box I know they said tin but it is a cover box and it's literally a bar of soap for my hair it smells really nice. I love anything that is orange scented. Um, lemon is quite nice, but I prefer it for cleaning products, but orange for body and hair products is, I love it. <laughs> I wanted to make sure my hair actually needed washing rather than just washing it for the sake of it. So yeah, so this would be the first um, like bar that I've ever tried on my hair. My hair is quite thick. Um, there is a lot of it. I don't know how well it is gonna wash through so I may have to like do two washes with it and then I treated myself to two new skincare products I've already packed one away. So the first one is the Botanics All Bright with Hibiscus Purifying Face Scrub which just looks like that. I've run out of my face scrub so I thought I would try something a bit new. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. And then I also got the Botanics Triple Age Renew uh, Purple Orchid Hydrating Eye Serum. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a pamper evening. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a face mask because the last time I did a face mask, it made my skin go really red. So I don't know if my skin's just having a bit of a, a bit of a moment. I'm going to try out these two new products and I will let you know how they go. Okay. I'm fresh out the shower, I've washed my hair. As it stands, that shampoo bar is amazing. I absolutely loved it. Um, it laughed up really nicely, didn't have to use a huge amount. The smell was quite strong, which was nice. And something else that I really enjoyed was that when I was washing it out, it had like that squeaky sound, you know, when it's like your hair is like super squeaky clean and it smells quite nice even after it's all been washed out. 
as it stands I will definitely be buying more um, and I might actually have a look on the website and see what other products they have. As for the face scrub I really like that um, it didn't cause any more redness than I usually have um, I always have a bit of redness around here and on my nose um, that's just <laughs> my skin um, but yeah it didn't irritate or anything I haven't had noticed any like extra dry spatches those sorts of things will probably come out after a few uses rather than just like once so I think I'm going to end this uh, Wednesday bit here um, I'm probably just going to tack this little bit of footage onto Tuesday so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye